Mark Hoverson, who is going to share with us 17 secrets for making 2014 your best year yet. I'm Christine Kaminiak. I'm a proud member of the Internet Lifestyle Network, and I'm so excited that you all decided to join us this evening, this morning, or afternoon, depending on where you are checking in around the world with us. And because we are at the top of the hour, I don't know about you guys and gals, but I'm ready to get this event rolling. Tonight's host is one of the network marketing and online business world's leaders who just happens to be one of my most respected and trusted mentors. He came from sinking in tens of thousands in credit card debt and struggling to pay the bills to accidentally cracking the code to generating a massive eight-figure income through network marketing from the comfort of his own home. And I can promise you, you will have life breakthroughs tonight. You will have business breakthroughs tonight if you engage in this. And I promise you, you will come away from this online event tonight thanking the person who brought you here because Mark Hoverson is about to bring the heat for you. Mark Hoverson, come on out here. <laughs> Christine, you are amazing. You and Matthew are, I love you guys and I've loved you for how many years? Like three, four years. Been, I'm not even sure. So here's the deal, gang. Can you see me? Christine, can you see my face? I can see your face, yes. See, I can't even see my own face. Yeah, you I look great. Do I really? Thank you. Thank yeah, you. nice hat, by the way. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. Yeah, I put it out vintage. I put it out vintage. All right, gang, today we're going to talk about making 2014 your best year ever. Here's a couple little details, and then we're going straight into it. I want to be timely. I have 17 things that I know. I will tell you from my own experience. I've incarnated these things. I live them. I own them. I breathe them. They are part of my DNA and I've shared them with others and it's manifested to the best years of their life as well. So 2014, we're going to get right into it. But before we do, I want to do a little experiment. So raise your hand if you're ready for this experiment. Let's me know that I got some interaction. Everything's good. All right. I see those hands. If you go to internet, lifestylefamily.com if you're already a member what I kind of want to see before I kick this off to make sure pretty much how this whole thing works is uh, it looks cool okay that's what I like how this whole thing works is I pour energy and I like to receive energy back okay I like to pour it I like to receive it I like it to be a tennis match so if you go to internetlifestylefamily.com you can join if you're not a member already you'll see on there we have 9,000 members. It's probably one of the most bubbly and insane communities on the internet. But I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post something right now. Are you ready for the 17 secrets? Okay. I'm going to post that. I literally want to see about 100 people really fast say, I'm ready. I'm going to pin that post right now. Wait for it. Oh boy, oh boy. I think it's starting to happen kind of, kind of fast. And for a little uh, musical entertainment while we get to 100, and then I'm going into it hard. Here we go. Wait for it. Ready. 17 secrets. Look at this. I think, uh, I think it's working. Wait for it, though. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming. I'm ready, I'm ready. We've got Vincent ready, Ronnie's ready, Wendy's ready, Karen's ready. How can't you be pumped when the final countdown is ticking in the background? Eddie, Lori, Anna, Candy, Seppi, Berlin. <laughs> and uh, let's look at just the graphics from the 80s for a second while that ticks. Look at that hair. That's like Vince's hair before his haircut. Here we go. I think we hit, I don't know, we've got to be close to it again. Forrest is ready. Susie Benjamin was born ready, and I think we got it. I mean, I think we hit a. I think we hit a hundred. And it seems like it's climbing. Uh, I'm loving it though. Patrice, Karina, Corey, Greg, Ray, Brian in the house. Shetler's ready. Biaz is ready. Oh, I'm loving this. Keith, Karina, I love it. Sip, Anissa, Apple, Naomi. Jeremy, Pam. Big Chips is in the house. Coda is ready to go. Ash, Brendan. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Look at that determination. All right. Well, with that, I'm pretty sure we had 100 on that. 
I mean, I don't want to quote, I don't want to be positive, but I feel pretty good about that. 190. All right, not bad. So we got 193. It's climbing. Without further ado, Christine, do you think we're, you think they're ready? You might have you might have bounced. If you didn't bounce, it'll be just me. Number I one think question. They're absolutely ready. Here it is. I'm going with the questions. I think almost every one of these secrets is a question. I want you to engage it. I want you to think. If you got a note back, notebook, journal, take your notes. Here's question number one. We're going to be timely. Ask yourself this question. What most people ask themselves is, what will double my income? Most people, less sophisticated, ask themselves, what will double my income now? But let me play out a scenario. What if your income doubles, but your happiness doesn't increase? Are you winning? No. You gotta look at money as completely 100% a medium to get the things you want. Now here's how I made myself, created myself a kind of joy when I was broke. Here it is, here's the hint. And this will make, uh, just follow this thinking. I want you to think of the epic of your story. If you are down, if you are threadbare right now, threadbare, if you are on the verge of illness, if you are diagnosed with illness, if your credit cards are so maxed out that you can't put all the gas in your tank, if the creditors are calling you right now, I want you to think of the epic of your story. And I want you to realize something. When Frodo was given the ring, here's how the movie didn't go. Frodo had the ring and realized he shouldn't have the ring and he wanted to drop it off in the fires of Mordor. So he took a taxi to Mordor and dropped it in there. End of story. Nobody would read that book. Nobody would be interested in that book. Nothing. How about you take Spider-Man? Spider-Man realizes he has really cool powers and he spends the, he just spends the days like zapping things and saving people. No. He has enemies. He has challenges. He has things he overcomes. Here's what I did. When I was at about 40,000 in credit card debt, 40,000, right? I don't even know the internet very well. I, bar I still barely know technology. I'm at the 40K point. My wife is pregnant. She's barefoot. My family is looking at me wondering what the hell I'm doing. Guess what I'm thinking? Guess what I'm actively thinking? And this is going to make your happiness for 2014. No matter how it pans out, it will double your happiness, possibly triple it. I remember when this was happening, and literally I am having foot pain, the stress, my pain, the jaw pain that I'm starting to have, the self-doubts that I'm starting to have. I couldn't even afford books, so I'd go to Barnes & Noble and just read books in Barnes and Noble, but then I'd feel guilty because I should be on the phone, but I didn't have money for leads. And it was just the most miserable situation during this whole thing. Guess what I'm thinking of? I'm actually observing it in the background. And I'm saying to myself, this story is going to be amazing. This comeback story, this rise from the frickin' trailer with the 40K in credit card debt and no sales, no internet experience, can't afford a frickin' computer. This story is going to change people's lives. It is going to change people's lives. I'm going to be a catalyst for thousands of people all over the world. Now, that was how I started to think about the mama drama, the chaos, the money crisis, the knowledge crisis, the network crisis. I had no network, no men, no money, no friends that were could help me. I was Robinson Crusoe in a sinking ship. And I thought to myself, this is going to be a story. This is going to be a story for the ages. This is a story of this little farm boy from North Dakota overcoming everything and making it happen. Raise your hand if you could see, if you just just started pretending you believed that, 
no matter what's going on right now and you realize you might be in personal development for three consecutive years you may have tapped out every credit card you may have bought every course you could think and joined every company you can think you're right now sitting there going this is going to be a great story <laughs> because if it hasn't happened yet how bad can it get your story if you look in the secret corner of your observer and you decide that 2014 is the year that you embrace and you love the story you get yourself in the middle of the story you wrap yourself into it and you don't avoid it you don't pretend everything's good things for a lot of you are catastrophic it is a catastrophic you are on the edge of losing your home you are on the edge of not being able to pay your bills now if you're doing fine you're at a corporate job but you're a drone you hate your life it's Walter Minnie ticking by that is as catastrophic as the person slaving away who quit their job tapping on all their credit doing everything to me they're both catastrophic to me my suggestion is that you tap into the heartbeat of the passion of this story and how critical it is and realize there is a light at the end of this tunnel and 2014 is the year that I quit kidding myself with how seriously effed up I am with how seriously bad the past has me it owns me it drives me how my habits all this stuff nothing seems to be working but guess what it's going to work and when it works when it works when I finally find that code I, I do it it's gonna make a story that's going to inspire people. It's going to change their lives. Absolutely change their lives. Okay. Now, little intermission. Raise your hand if you got value from that's one. That's secret one. And it's just a tiny little thing. Here's what I want to say. I'm given 17 of these. After this video, after we finish this, this is live right now. If you're watching the video, you know your video. You do a two to five minute two to five minute um, video that you post inside the www internet lifestyle family dot com you share and educate us on the three secrets or questions that impacted you the most and why you post that video on Friday there'll probably be 200 300 400 videos we're gonna have some people feeling out which ones getting engaged which ones getting liked which ones getting commented which ones passionate and we're gonna come up with like a top five or ten or something but on Friday we're gonna pick three people who just brought really great passion and insight into that video and those three people are gonna get 15 minutes one-on-one -on -one with me one-on-one -on -one for 15 minutes which I don't do with I just barely ever do that 15 minutes and we're gonna talk about your 2014 and I'm gonna shoot very straight uh, it's been said some people have said the 15 minutes with me was worth a, a lot of lot a life-changing conversation because I'll be able to diagnose pretty quick what's screwed up I'm pretty dialed in because I've been so screwed up that's the nice thing. But we're gonna select three people they're gonna get hundred percent free 15 minutes with me now really quick um, I'm liking that we got 204 I'm gonna post a new thing uh, put if you are game to make the two to three minute video after for us do it for us put yes below this post I want to see about 50 and then I'm going to go on and that's the last time I'm doing this little intermission thing and uh, and everyone wants to hear the rest of the final content so I'm looking for probably 50 people who are game when I'm done they're flipping on their phone and they're making a two to three minute video on the three secrets it is now live it is now it should be pinned it's pinned we're gonna get the final countdown going I want 50 people to say they'll make the video and we're on. Here we go. We're at eight. Okay, we got 
Jamie, Elizabeth, Misty, Coda, Susan, Philip, Sethi, Paul, Renee, Alex, Alex Gonzalez, Luke, Marcus, Catherine, Christine is in the house, Sarah, Luke, Nicolo, Luke, AJ, Big Chips, Kelly, yes, Benjamin. I think we're going to hit 50 pretty quick. We're at uh, 65. Let's go to 100, just for fun. Let's go to 100. Uh, we got Luke, we got uh, Wes, Liz, Snow, Snow. We got Jacob, we got Emily, Keith, Ryan's game, he's going to make it to Miniac again. We got husband wife. Oh, Berlin, Troy, Luis, ah, you guys are killing me. This is going to be awesome. 100, okay, okay. You know, all right, all right, I think we got it, we got it. Moving on, moving on. Number one was good. I'm excited about number one. But I'm telling you, 2014 will be your year. As soon as you hide in the secret and you quit dealing with the facade of how dramatic the situation is, your career, your retirement, your dreams, your vision that you think God gave you is on the line. And it's time you just own the whole drama. And you say, I'm game, I'm playing. I don't know how it's going to work, but I do know eventually it's going to happen. And when it happens, it's going to be an amazing story. Number two. Is there anything at all that I'm uncomfortable with that I'm selling? I want you to ask yourself this question. Here's why. Because in 2014, if you sell anything at all that there is inside your heart of hearts, okay, so here you are and you've got your drama and you think money is going to cure all your problems. You think a little cash in that pocket and now all of a sudden you're, you know, screwed up nervousness is going to be over and you think you're, you know, your back's going to quit aching. You think you're going to wear new clothes and everything's going to be better. Um, some of that's true. But if you pack those pockets full and you do get the new clothes, so now you got your new clothes, you got your new sunglasses, you got your new trips, your jet set into new places. Hey, you even got some new friends. But you did it all with just your heart kind of going, oh, geez. I don't know about this offer. I don't know about what I'm selling. Let me tell you what all this tastes like gravel all of it tastes like it's like in the bible when israel they were starving and they wanted food 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 and so they got all the the fish but it turned rotten in their mouth they got what they wanted but it turned rotten here's my challenge to you whatever you're selling we have people we got you know people from all over the internet selling a bunch of things if there's anything at all that you're uncomfortable with selling You've got to find someone who's totally comfortable with it, who believes in it, who, who can explain you why they're comfortable with it, why they do what they do. And if, they're, if, they're, if you get it and you're like, okay, I'm comfortable, I feel good, you, you can move mountains with that product. You can move mountains with that product. You can move mountains with that inter, um, network. You can do miracles almost. You can do personal miracles if you have no discomfort whatsoever with what you're saying. No shame. None. Number two, raise your hand if you're clear. I will tell you, I, you know, I'm going to tell you some just, I, I, I've been around just a little bit, just a tiny little bit, just a tiny, tiny little bit. And I've been able to coach some very high earning people. And I, I can tell you that there are people that, earn a full 50 70 20,000 a month and they secretly and I'm you know going to honor the client privilege of confidentiality but they secretly go I really want to sell something eventually eventually that I believe in I'm just on the internet and things are cheap you know things are weird and so I'm making money in this deal thing I don't feel good about it and they'll say, like, I know you feel good about what you sell. And a lot of that's because I usually sell my own stuff, right? I feel good about this. I feel good about every product that I promote. I feel amazing about or I don't do it, period. If I'm not comfortable, I don't do it. You just had a friend the other Anyway, I'm not going to go into it. But raise your hand if you're clear. You've got to have 100% comfort. In 2014, your quest your quest, your mission is to find out if you're in a network that's uh, of people that sell something, you find out what the believers in that believe about why it's so good to sell that thing. And the thing you're selling is not going to be perfect. There's going to be problems with it, just like 
everything. I have problems with my iPhone, Microsoft Windows, I have problems with that. Go to meeting, huge, huge multi-million dollar company. I have problems with that technology. There's going to be problems in everything you sell because we're on planet Earth. But you have to have 100% comfort and confidence that it's a good price, it's a good total offer, it's a good, res it's a good result for the buyer if they engage the product. If they engage the experience, it could be, it could take what the, the purchase price is and their experience could be multiplied infinity. Number two. Number three. Let's move on. Number three. This is a little deeper, but I want to press this home because there, this is, this is, you have an internal moral compass that's going to throttle you back if you're discomfort, if you're uncomfortable. Number three, is there any fiber of my being that feels if someone purchases my offer, I am the winner and they are the loser? If you think at any level on the scale that if they pay their money, uh, you win. You win and they lose. If you, look at a, if you look at selling as a match, okay, you've got Mr. Prospect, Mrs. Prospect here. She's skeptical, but she's hungry. She wants something she doesn't have, and there's you. And you kind of think, you know what? Well, I think I have that, actually, or, or something like it. And you engage in this awkward, unnatural, full of resistance and weirdness and posturing and goofball. And if you feel for one second when she pays, you win, you won the game. You won. If you think for a second you won the game, if you think it's a game, if you think your buyer can lose, it's time to just reassess the whole animal. Let me tell you what I think. This is this stuff. And a lot of, you know, I get the whole eight-figure thing, and I, like I've done some really cool things. I've been able to achieve some really cool things. I will tell you, when I sell something, I literally think to myself, okay, it's 95 bucks. It's 495 bucks. It's 5,000 bucks. And I think to myself, if they take the time to wake up the hunger and engage this product, their lives will change. They will travel more than they ever traveled at cheaper rates. They will live more. They will have more experience. They will be smarter. They will consume more information. They will be able to apply more information. They will have a network of friends all over the country. They will be able to opt out of the matrix, retire early, live in two places. They will be able to dine out whenever they want, not even look at the price. They'll be able to eat sushi four times a week, go to a, have in-house massages. They'll be able to do, their life will be so changed, and it starts at 95 bucks. Do you see what I'm saying? Raise your hand if you see what I'm saying. And when you do that, all of a sudden, if you feel good about that, you can sit and have millions come in a day. When Jonathan and I did futuristic marketing, we had a million plus dollars hit us in a day. Now we paid out a bunch, we had expenses, but it was a million dollars. When I did Info Blueprint and we did 300,000 in the first hour or so, I thought to myself, oh man, there's a lot of people winning today. This is huge for them. This is going to change lives. I didn't, because I didn't, there's no guilt. When you peel off the guilt because you believe there is no loser, in fact, to the perfect buyer, if they don't buy, they're losing. You just The whole orientation of your being changes and life and business becomes pretty radical, which leads me to question four. Raise your hand if you got value from question three. If there's any fiber, if there's any fiber, if there's trace, if there is trace, if there's bacterial resistance, if there is anything in your neurological electricity that you think, uh, not a good deal for that person, but it'll help me put diapers on my kid. Uh, not a good deal, but it'll help me fund a Hawaii. Not only will you sabotage, not only will everything that you purchase turn, turn rotten in your hands, not only will all that happen, you will disconnect yourself more and more from your buyers. You will disconnect yourself from social media. You will become so irrelevant that it will be a nightmare. Now, me, uh, and this isn't just me, and this is kudos, you know, kudos to all our partners who promoted this webinar. 
I mean, I just want to say super like high fives to you guys. We have 9,200 members, 9,000 people. This is so transparent, this community. And the only way we can do it is because people are proud to share the product line. It's, they're, they're proud of it. You can have an open, vibrant, living conversation in an oxygen-rich environment when you believe in what you're doing and there's transparency. And then that creates a ball of gravity. It attracts more money. It attracts more people. It attracts more success. And I could keep going on that. But here's number four. Number four is who is your perfect client, buyer, or prospect. Now, you can fake yourself out on this because if you're in the business opportunity realm, here's how you fake yourself out. You kind of stereotype. Um, you stereotype to be like, okay, um, if they're too young, well, they're too young. And, you know, young kids don't have the character. So you can't be probably under you know, 22, because you're still sowing your wild oats. You don't have enough, you know, you don't have enough uh, character to actually go for it. So that person's not it. Now, if you're middle-aged and you've got some kids, well, you know, kids are very time consuming and, and a stay-at-home mom isn't going to have the time because not only does she have the kids, she's also involved with the book club. She's also involved at church. She's involved with PTA. So the middle-aged woman, definitely not it. Now, the middle-aged man, he is, you know, he's already kind of like bedded into his company. He's getting you know, he's, he's playing it safe. He wants to go into retirement. He's not going to take risks. So the middle-aged man is definitely not the guy. The old person, well, they can't even do technology. It's way over their head. You can't teach an old doctor new tricks. Pretty soon, not one mother freaking person by your omniscient qualifications is suitable to come in, kick ass, change their life. Not one person. Not one person. Now, who's my perfect buyer? My only critics, my only, my only, and I don't even care. See, what? catch this. Oh, they're 17 and they have no money. They're perfect. You know what? They're 55 and they're miserable corporate guy that earns 250 a year as a contractor. He's perfect. She's 75 bored watching Matlock, but she's interested. Perfect. 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 And all of a sudden you and the entire world, unless my next question, I'll, uh, I'll show you my next question, which kind of ties into this is unless they're a jerk, I'm over jerks. I'm over, I don't, there's so many not skeptical people. I don't require skeptical people. I just don't require them in my space anymore, right? So almost the whole world opens up as your ether. Now, I'm going to post this real quick, and I'm just looking real quick. Do you resonate with um, the power of not disqualifying a prospect? Do you resonate with it? Tell me yes if you res resonate with it, because for some of you, this is your 2014 answer. This is the answer. You have literally bought the BS of the young person, the middle-aged mom, the old person, the senior, the young guy. You have bought the BS, and you know why? And this is going deep. If you buy BS, it's because you like BS. If you buy someone's excuses, it's because you live in excuses. You are comfortable in the habitat of excuses, of not having the money, of not having the right connections, of, you know what, the basketball coach my senior year benched me and I'm bitter at that authority and I have all my authorities in my life are, you know, the man is bad, all this. People who buy BS love BS. They live in BS. People who get rid of their excuses don't buy excuses. They don't buy excuses. They also don't hit people that have excuses. They simply attract people who are ready to lose their excuses and live the life that they dream. This is the power of this, first, of this question. Who's your perfect client, buyer, prospect? 
It's the person for whom, very simply, if you sketch this out, sketch this. Here's the, here they are right now. Your product, your service. Hey, raise your hand if this is good. Raise your hand if this is good. I'm having a good time. We're only on question four. We get a lot of time. This is your product. This is your service. This is your network. This is whatever it is that they trade some money for. So they go, okay, here's who I am now. And I'm going to put a little, whatever that price is, into this little uh, situation. And if I do what the product, the instructions of the product, whatever they may be, if it's a technology product, if I apply it, if I use the product, my life is going to be later, or upon use, it is going to grow into bigger, better, faster, smarter, richer, whatever. So again, this comes back to that whole thing. Like when we do an ultra reading and we sell ultra reading, and this is the person now, they read one or two books a year, they get hung up on it. They take ultra reading and all of a sudden, books are everywhere in their life. They are consuming book after book after book. They can look at a book, take it, ultra read it in five or 10 minutes, feel like awesome, go about their day and have no guilt, maybe buy that book. In fact, right here, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I just got, um, you see my invisible bookshelves? I don't know how well that's coming in or not. But I, I'm surrounded by books galore. So what happens when I launch ultra reading and I make $15,000 in one day selling it for the first day I launch it, you know, here's this idea, This I'm going to teach you how to read. I'm going to teach you how to skip the whole concept and redefine reading for you. And I make 15000 because I write an email, one email, and I hit send. And I make $15,000. I have no guilt because I know that when they put that little bit of money into this product and service and they attend the training and they do the steps, that all of a sudden they are more than they were before they bought the product. And as long as that's the transactional, transformational experience with whatever it is, I win they win, not a person on the planet loses. That's my perfect buyer. Somebody who wants to be bigger, better, smarter, faster, travel more, well-connected, less excuse, more productive. That is my perfect buyer. And guess what? There's a lot of people, and the only gateway for me is that they desire it. Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, white, hot, burning desire. That is the core of it. If you don't have it right now, Turn it on. It's like, a, it's like a switch. You're pressing it down by not letting the emotions of some of this information hit you with the force that it could hit you and say, you know what? No, I, I really do want this. I want freedom. I don't want a job. I want to drive a better car. I want to live in a better neighborhood. I want my kids to have a better experience. I want my wife to be able to go on dates. I want to be able to, you name it. Get the want. Get the desire. Get it craving. I want to fulfill my potential. I have a message. I want to share it. Oh my gosh. Raise your hand if raise your hand if we're going places. I feel like we're going places right now. I feel good. I like it. I love the interaction. Okay, we gotta start burning. We gotta start burning. Here, here we go. Number five. How can I achieve super credibility to my buyer instantly? If you ask your that if you ask your that question to yourself, it's called super credibility. And it's called instantly. How can you do that? I just ask yourself the question, you'll figure it out. For some people, the perfect buyer, literally, if you craft for kings, we teach it in Solomon CEO. If you learn how to craft for a king or two or a queen, and you get their smile and their promoted thing and their friendship and their goodwill and they whatever, boom, you just went to the almost to the level of credibility that that person has and you have just cut down maybe years of hanging around in the trenches because you have super credibility because of your association and endorsement by a leader. Raise your hand if that makes sense. That's probably one of the easiest ways. Now there's more Nijitsu ways. For the Lemonade Crusade, a lot of you have seen the Lemonade Crusade. Um, I just contacted the Disney Institute. Uh, Disney World has something called the Disney Institute that teaches like Fortune 500 companies how to do branding, vision, long-term thinking, prosperity. Like they teach really high-end stuff. I called the Disney Institute. 
because I want this summer for the Winners of Lemonade Crusade to be able to go to Disney World, kids, 9-year-olds, 10-year-olds, 12-year-olds, Winners of the Lemonade Crusade. I want them to be able to go experience Disney with someone, a facilitator from the Disney Institute who's also teaching Facebook, who's teaching um, Exxon, who's teaching top Fortune 100 companies about business and branding and vision and long-term. And I want 10 and 12 and 14-year-olds to learn from Disney Institute how to run business in between going on rides. Now, I also want the Lemonade Crusade to have 10,000 kids in it eventually. It won't happen this summer. But I want super credibility instantly to the buyer. So what happens is when the Lemonade when someone goes to the Lemonade Crusade and a, and a curious parent goes to the Lemonade Crusade, they're hit with, okay, it's a nice, it looks like a legitimate logo. They're smiling kids. Oh, and over here in the corner, we're partnered or co-branded or something alongside the Disney Institute. Raise your hand if you see how that's an instant credibility. It passes the unconscious mind. They're not even aware that they think it. And that's part of graphic, like graphic design. When someone hits this site, and we're building this for the future, literally, we're instantly credible because the logo is just fun and clean and clear. And then you've got a bunch of kids who are smiling. It's safe. There's no ads. There's nothing, it's nothing you can lose. You can only win. Now, wait till we add the Disney thing on there. We're going to see us go from 100 to 500 to 1,000 and then to 10,000 kids who are learning entrepreneurialism through a gamified experience of tiny little lemonade stand. Anyway, I could go on. I'm not going to. But how can I achieve super credibility with my buyer instantly? I want you to think that instantly. And one of the best ways to do, if you don't, I mean, if you can't, if you don't now have that relationship with that leader, you know, deserve it. If you don't, if you can't call Disney and co-brand with them or whatever, that's okay. All this is okay. I'll tell you how you can uh, achieve super credibility instantly. You can enlighten somebody with something that they secretly, this is tricky. You educate someone in an interesting way. They feel that you're smart. They feel that you're dialed in. They feel that you care. They're not actively thinking one of those thoughts. They're not thinking, you know what? He cares, therefore I'm going to listen. You know what? She's really dialed into internet marketing. She's done her research. This is actually not processing in their conscious mind. It's literally downloaded instantly. They can feel you care. They can feel that you know what you're doing. Because they know more after two minutes of your video, they're more inspired, they're more educated, they're more ready to take on the world. That's how you can achieve super credibility with somebody, total stranger, and that's with no great branding, that's with no, you know, leveraging on to Disney and things like that. You can do it through simply having a sense of conviction and knowledge of what you're actually doing. Raise your hand if that makes sense. You make 2014 a commitment to do that you'll achieve super credibility. And when you do that, you literally, it opens every door for you. All right. Number six, what type of person am I 100% over dealing with? This is a good question. You want to know what really causes most of the misery in our life? It's people that we, I don't know what it is. We kind of attract them. And then we kind of pander to them because we're coming from a place of need and desperation and weakness. And so all of a sudden, just some kind of like shifty, shady, kind of like low, classy or unmatched. You know what? Don't, I don't even want to make it a moral thing. It's just an unmatched. It's unmatched. Okay? It's unevenly yoked, right? In the scripture, it talks about unevenly yoked. It means this is who I am and who I, this is who I am and who I'm going. And this person that is in my space is, is, is going in a different kind of way and the energies aren't playing well together and they're, they're second guessing my motives and they, they're bringing me baggage and they're bringing me skepticism and whatever. I'm 100% over that person, 100% over it. And just to ask yourself, who am I 100% over dealing with? 100%. A powerful question. I've got, you know, I've got 20 minutes and I don't have, I've got, oh, this is huge. Number seven, what exactly, who exactly 
And this can be in business, it can be in media, it can be in movies, it can be in government. Who exactly? Write this one down. You know what? We're even going to make this, I'm going to articulate this, and I want you to think of a person, and I want you to write it down in the space once I type it. Because I can tell you the power of this is eerie and strange and frightening. Who exactly in business or media or movies or government would I like to work alongside as a partner or an advisor or a co-brander or a teammate? Back when I got started, Evan Pagan was huge, right? I wrote him down, he's doing 25 million a year, he's got all these products, he's an amazing guy. I wrote down that Evan and I would do something together. we do something together. Now, nobody knew who I was. I did not exist on the heartbeat of the internet. But I set an intention that Evan, and I'm not going to claw my way into Evan's presence. It's going to come automatically, instantly easy. And after all these years, I've never like been crazy about it. But a friend introduced us. He said, I'm going to set you and Evan up because he's got this parent thing going on, blah, blah, blah. Evan's interviewing me to go to this monster network of people that are leading tech up like really, really aware, conscious, deliberate thinking parents on how to raise entrepreneurial children. Evan's going to interview me. It's going to go to thousands of people and I get to come as a servant. And what's crazy is Evan said, why I want to do this interview and why I'm doing this series of interviews with entrepreneurial parents is number one, I want to learn from you and I want to be a better parent. But here's my point. There's not anybody who's off limits to you. Nobody's better than you. Nobody's below you. We're all pretty much human beings. We're all, I mean, don't, don't see anybody in lofty starry eyes. Don't look down as anybody is scum either. It's kind of all just kind of even and say, how can I serve that person? And by doing so, you'd be amazed that person could show up. So for fun, raise your hand if you're game for just for fun. For fun, I'm going to write this. Who... Exactly. Do you? I don't even know how to say who exact, exactly. Do you desire? And it can even be a whim to work alongside, serve alongside, alongside, alongside. In 2014 and beyond. Now, I want to see some ma amazing, I want to see people in the industry on here. I want to see people just like, who comes to your mind? Ready? I'm looking for 50 names. And, and you know what? I'm going to do, we're going to get through the final countdown by the end of this thing. Here we go. Game on. All right. 50 people, were, you know, here we go. Here we go. I, it never gets so no. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, okay, it's going too fast for me. Really? I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to get it. Uh, Will Smith. Steve Saki. Will Smith. Will Smith is hot tonight. Me. Thank you. Marion Wilson. Stephen. Vincent Ortega. Tim Ferris. Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins. Brenda Gagne. Get to her. Eric Warren. You can do it. Will Smith. Is he the coolest thing ever? Oh, yeah. Will Smith is kind of stealing the show. I don't even know how to find this post. I just made. Dang it. Okay, maybe I'll find it like this. Is this it? A few seconds? Okay, wait for it. I'm going to pin this thing. I'm pinning this before it's too late. I don't even know how. All right, a few more people. Oh, okay. uh, Richard Branson, Eric Worry, Mark Overson. Thank you, Anthony. Beth Moore, she's awesome. Satori, Oprah, get to her. Uh, Jim McGraw, Mark, thank you, guys. Bob Proctor, you can do it. Joe Polish, good friend of mine. He's awesome. Will Smith, Shannon Overson, Heather, Crafter, Shannon, Jonathan Budd, President Obama, why not? More me, thank you, Paul. Thank you, thank you. Richard Branson, I like you next to him. Uh, George Clooney. All right, here's the deal. Let's just take a moment, look at this hair. All right. Here's the thing. I do not want Tom Brady, Dalai Lama. Why not? Why not? Seriously, I will tell you just from some of these. Okay, like Maja. Oh man, I'm never gonna keep it. Like Tony Robbins. I'll tell you, amazing, amazing. Maria Andros. She's so awesome. And this is the moment. You know, I think I have my own envy issues. I think we all have weird little envy things. And Tony Robbins. I was like, ah, oh, Tony. You know, my brother. 
used to joke when I started like having a little bit of success. He said, you know, Mark, you're a poor man's Tony Robbins. <laughs> and I thought, I don't know if that's what it was, but I had a little personal like, you know, well, Tony is just, he's a little too fluffy or whatever, even though he's advised um, all the presidents in the last like three decades and tons of top coaches and military strategists, number one investors in the world. You know, I still, for some reason, was better than him in my mind, okay? But literally, my, my wife said, you know, I want to go to Tony. So we got her. She went front, like it was front two or two or three rows. She went to Tony. I just, I dropped my anti-Tony. I just dropped it. And I said, you know what, Tony, he's doing amazing things. He's transforming people. Shannon, go. Go crazy. She met some friends. It was amazing. There was a bunch of our people in our family, in our, in our niche there. And she came back, and I just, I chilled on the Tony thing. Maria Andros, within two months, we're sitting on a plane. We, we happen to sit on a plane. She goes, Mark, you know, I speak, I'm going to speak with Tony at one of his events on his breakout rooms. And I think you'd be awesome to speak with Tony. Do you want me to talk to his people and stuff? And one of the many times that I, I, I've said no to a lot of things in my life for a lot of deliberate reasons, but I'm open to that now. And I've, I was literally, you see what I mean? Raise your hand if you see what I mean. As soon as I dropped the negative energy and just opened it, Tony, the conversation was approached to me. Um, Donald Trump, his CEO, uh, called called me to when the, he was doing his customized nutrition thing. He wanted me to create the marketing plan for their whole online team for a corporate, not a teammate, a corporate. And so literally I was invited to go hang out with the Donald. So a lot of you guys are looking at these, you know, some of these names and going, oh, never, never, no, that's too crazy. Don't write yourself off um, like Mark Cuban. I was talking with Mark, Mike Dillard. He was emailing with Mark Cuban. And uh, I said, how did you get to email with Mark Cuban? And I won't tell you what he told me, but it was so brilliant how he did it. And like, nobody's that far away from you. In 2014, one of the best things you can do is drop any starry, replace starry eyes with respect. So if you have starry eyes towards somebody, just replace it with like respect of that. I respect that man's craft. I respect what they've done. I respect what they've gone through. I respect um, just the level that they've had to show up consistently. I respect it. And look at them more as peers or like you or acknowledge you're not a peer, but that you'd like to be a peer and your humility will cause you to skyrocket. And the next thing you know, really interesting people will show up in your life and your influence will get really, really interesting. All right, so thank you so much for that. I mean, we had a lot of people just respond to that. We had 182 people respond to that. I, I think I think it's not the question. I think it's the final countdown. I'm pretty sure it's because of the song. If we have 10 more to go, oh, this is killing me. All right. Here we go. Number eight. I'm going fast. I'm burning. I'm burning. What are 100% free actions that I can take to make my life measurably better? Um, here's why you want to ask yourself this question. What are 100% free? It's free. It doesn't cost anything to make my life measurably better. I've been asking myself this question for a while. About two years ago, I literally, I, I told myself a story about work. And it's that I had to do it at all times. Now, I, I actually became kind of like free through lifestyle creation or through understanding automated income, Andrew Aaring, and this and that and the other thing. The economy dipped, and then I panicked and started working like feverishly. A lot of it was unproductive, but I worked, and I thought I had to work all the time. And it was weird because I thought I had to sleep, and I if, if I had to get up to take my kids to school – um, it would tap in and deplete my energy and I'd be not as good for the day. And I literally never saw my kids probably for two years off to school. I was sleeping and I really like sleep. I value it. It's a high value to me. It still is today. Um, so instead of having a generic goal in 2014 for you right now, instead of having something generic, like more time with the kids and some nebulous thing, or more time with my wife, don't have like something that is not just a system. And so my system right now is that every week, a couple times or more, I ride on the school drop-off. 
So this morning, I just, and all I do is I roll out of bed. Shani helped the system. She makes me a cup of coffee. I literally roll out of bed, grab the coffee, sit down with the kids, and we talk and laugh on the way to school. They all give me kisses on the cheek, say, bless you today. They, you know, they fiend off off to their little uh, school. And it was 100% free, but I realized that one of the things that was making my life not better was I was learning, I was starting to have like, little tiny resentments to my work because I told myself the story that I had to do it and so I couldn't spend time with my kids or I couldn't spend time with my friends or I didn't have time to work out or I didn't have time. And pretty soon, because the laziest thing in the world and the most fear-based and all these things is like, I'm just going to work 24-7 instead of learning how to get really, really efficient with your time and realizing if you block out fun things, you'll get more done before that. So I really thought like I, I can never watch Monday Night Football. It just, it can't happen because I have to work. I have to work. And then I realized, like, if I get, if I decide to get excited about Sunday football, just if it's, you know, I decide to do it, I'll make sure everything's done before it happens. So it's weird. I don't have time to travel, but if you set that vacation, you get more done before vacation. You get more done even though you're gone on vacation because you got so much done before the vacation. When you come back, you're relaxed, re-energized, excited, and still itchy to work, and you get more done. So actually stacking vacations as part of your life discipline, as part of your life ritual, as part of your life system, regular, systematic, frequent vacations, you will actually become more, produ more productive. Raise your hand if that... It sounds like good news. I, I tell you, it is really, really good news. And it's just true. So look at things that are 100% free that can make your life me measurable better. In fact, um, I'd love to hear. No, I, we don't have time. Dang it. I love the engagement you guys are giving right now. It's, it's literally mind-numbing to me. You guys are just amazing. But I want you to think to yourself, what are 100% free things that I can do that will make my life measurably better? Or even maybe put less hateful less bothersome. For instance, every morning or every night, if you walked into your bedroom and your bed was made and you had a sense of peace, instead of getting back to your bed and you realize you, you ripped yourself out of it and it's all chaos and you woke up in chaos and now you're back to chaos. If you just literally soaked your feet in Epsom salt for 10 minutes, warm Epsom salt, and came back to a, to a made bed, Almost every night, not every night, you don't have to get religious about any of this stuff, but almost every night, and it made you happier and less miserable, it's 100% free. I know people that are making money over and over and over. Their misery index is about the same. It just never changes. They don't know how to develop like the joys of free. Most things are free. Like a lot of the greatest things are free. Um, I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pretend I believe that all the way. <laughs> so it's really great to have freedom to do what you want and kind of buy kind of where you want and eat what you want. You know, for instance, let me tell you, after this, I'm meeting three guys at my cigar bar and we're going to have probably three beers. We're going to smoke probably a nine to $13 cigar. And I love that. I never look at what the cost of the night is. And I, I buy for everybody. I don't, and I, I don't consciously think of it almost ever, ever. Like, in fact, I took another friend out to a sushi place, and I've, I all, you know, I pay because I like, I, I part, I know I'm successful when I can take my friends out to eat whenever I want. That is like, I know I'm successful when I can do that. It's, and what an easy thing. So I've always paid, but my buddy was like, no, I'm picking it up. I'm picking it up. So he picks it up, and he's like. What was that? 50 bucks? 60 bucks? He's like, 60 bucks? This was 60 bucks for just the two of us at lunch? And I'm like, and we were both still hungry. And I'm like, you know what? I, I don't know. I guess it always has been 60 bucks. I have never paid attention. Vince, uh, I know you're in the background, but remember when we went out? Uh, we were just talking. This was early. Vince, you know, was just like starting his ascension to glory. And we're at the same sushi place. And we get the bill, and I was like, you know, Vince, and, and it was like 120 because we were drinking at lunch, of course. But it was like, wow, you know, this, Vince, do you remember that? Yeah, man. I remember when we were like, you just can't live anymore unless you're making like $500,000 a year. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I think it was like there's people that work all you know all day and still couldn't afford this meal. I couldn't believe. That's no, when I started thinking no about fun. it. It was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, it was the same. It was the same uh, restaurant, almost the same location actually. Yeah. Um, but I want you to think about. So I, I, that's my making up for me saying that uh, the best things in life are free. I'm, I'm not totally convinced of that. <laughs> um, all right, man. So that's that all I got. Okay, now I got five minutes to go through that. Raise your hand if you guys are getting value. Again, it's just I'm having a blast. I will tell you, I usually don't prepare for a webinar because I have mastery over a lot of these subjects. I don't require preparation. But I actually spent last night while I was watching the BCS football game um, going through these questions, and I, I eliminated questions that were not amazing. And I was like, I'm coming up with the amazing questions that I think actively that have taken me from a layer of here to here, not just in income, but in peace of mind and the stress off the eyes and the joy in the heart. Like, these are the questions. So, number nine, what are extremely low cost products and services I can purchase to make my life measurably happier? Some of you women, I'm telling you, if you just got a little couple cheap flowers and you took your bath, you can take your Calgon to take me away, and you did it religiously once a week, you would be happier. If you set aside that time, especially if you're an online marketer, the world will survive as urgent as we pretend everything is. If you go for a little pedicure or whatever, that I don't know, whatever with the nails and stuff, if you go do that, it will be worth it. Okay? it everything shows up on my screen, so don't text me anything. <laughs> um, it will be worth it, and it's low cost. For some of you, oh my gosh. Some of you, it is now time in 2014 to value your time and your peace of mind enough to almost stop cleaning your house. Okay? There's a service. There's a teenage girl who's 15, who's ambitious. She will clean your house. You will change her life by giving her $40 a week to come in and clean your house. I started experimenting with this when we were making barely any money, but I was committed that my time and my wife's time, I didn't want her to become Cinderella. She was Cinderella. I realized her life kind of sucked. She had all these little kids, all these messy diapers, all this food, all this, this, oh, it was disastrous. And I was like, you know, there's got to be someone in the neighborhood. So whatever, it was like, 15 year old boy, there was a 16 year old girl, and we were just like, here's the deal, Brody, it's this kid Brody, he's 15, he doesn't do any work for his mom whatsoever, I coached him in basketball a couple of years earlier, I said, Brody, here's the deal, Shannon's going to go work out and drop the kids off at the little workout place, I'm going to be at my office, I want you to come and vacuum our entire house, make our beds, clean our dishes, he's like, I've never done any of that, I said, I don't care, you'll figure it out, it's not that hard, and I'd give him like 30 bucks. But the point is, what it started this trend of getting comfortable having minimum wage activities done for us so that I could create way above average experiences for others. I wouldn't be here if, if I, I truly, you know, God have mercy, I believe it's true. If I didn't get rid of the idea that I had to change my own oil, mow my own lawn, wash my own clothes, really, I don't do anything. I don't. I just, I truly don't do anything. Almost nothing. In fact, if I do anything, it just feels weird. I only do stuff by choice. Anything, anything that others, I can pay others and they make, and it makes them happy and they win, I almost don't do it. I haven't lost, I mean, I could go into tangent on this. But the moment, if 2014 is the year, and for some of you, I'm not kidding you, it's giving your little brother a $5 bill to make your bed every morning and make your oatmeal. I mean, I don't know. It's going to make, it's going to change his life. And this is the thing. Morally, it's weird to think this way, but until you loosen yourself free from a lot of that stuff, you're not going to be able to create the amazing thing. You think I could create and brand and, and customize Solomon CEO and deliver it at the level I did if I'm sitting there changing my oil, sweeping my garage, washing my car? Do you really think I could contribute to the world at the level that I, that I do now, which I think is only scraping the surface? But the gist is, in 2014, if you just drop and learn how to replace that kind of stuff and pay other people to do it, your value is going to escalate. 
It really is. It's powerful stuff. So I want you to think of low cost things. Like if someone's cleaning your house, making your bed, whatever, and you might, like some of you, oh my gosh, some of you could have a delivery service of groceries to your door, but because it's six freaking dollars or it's eight dollars, you would rather drive, spend the money, sit in the grocery store, harassed by the phone while you're doing it, slaving around, spending an hour in the grocery store, coming back, tired, stuffing all that crap around because you are you're you don't value yourself more than $8. And no one in the world is ever going to do it. You're not going to produce anything worth more than $8. Ah. <laughs> all I don't know what else to tell you. I feel like it, raise your hand if you got if you hear me. Just if you feel me. Just if you feel me on this, it's so critical that you feel me on this. Get rid of the five, get rid of everything that is not your highest and best, as best you can. It doesn't mean, I mean, I'm still dealing with learning how to drop things, pay for things to, you know, figure it out so I can go out and do the higher things for the world. See, nobody loses. You're giving someone, you know, more money and something to be productive at, you know, this and that. Oh my gosh. And I was going to, I was going to go crazy. Karen, you go hang out with Lisa. She's incredible. All right. I said one hour. Dang it. What do I do right now? I really want to, I really want to respect that hour, but these other questions, you don't even know. I, you don't even know what's in these other questions. Vince, I'm going to, I'm going to call an audible. I might do a part two. It's up to you, brother. I might do a part two. It's up to you. Uh, I'm, 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 I was caught by the, I was caught by the ghost of inspiration and I, and I hit hard on what I hit hard and I feel like I feel, here's how I feel, gang. All right. Permission to be candid. I feel like we have shared something right now that the vast majority of you can take starting now, even if it's a mental technology of going into your story and going, you know what? Things are pretty scary right now. The deck is against me. The odds are against me. I don't have the network. I don't have the money. I'm running out of, it's a part of, it's, there's a lot of problems. And in the secret place of your heart going, this is going to make a hell of a story. Maybe that's the piece of technology. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's that, you know, someone's going to start just, you know, washing your car instead. People are craving more, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. Super credibility. Maybe it's that mentoring. Maybe it's that person that you opened up and you thought, you know what, I'm going to craft for that person and get in there or I learn how to serve them in some way. I realize that my perfect buyer, I've been prejudicing the young, the old, the middle-aged, there's nobody left to buy. And maybe you just ditch that little belief. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's a fiber in your being that's uncomfortable. You're going to go figure out the offer that works for you, that fits. It's literally an extension of you. That is what the best businesses in the world are literally extensions of your body, of your soul, of your mind. Like me personally, I want you to adapt this to you. I want you to put you're here, but I'm here. Like ultra reading to me, that's just an extension of my heart. Solomon CEO, extension of my heart. Global Resource Network. I love travel, adventure, family, bonding, memories. I believe in the health, the disciplines, all of that. It's an extension of me, right? Find products and services that if you don't create them, you can come alongside them and say, I, there's not a fiber in me that believes that a hungry, ambitious person looking for this kind of thing, if they engage it and they use the instruction manual, they integrate, they engage, they're going to win. And that money is going to be looked at as a joke. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe like number one, what's going to double my happy? I, I don't know what it is, but here's the deal. I'm going to close her down because I value, I said an hour and I'm going to do an hour. If you want more information, um, just generically, internetlifestylenetwork.com is more about, you know, the community that we've got going. We've got 9,000 people in there. A um, bunch of people making money, a bunch of people ex just lifestyles are changing and, Beliefs are changing, and we're on a journey together as a family. It's pretty cool. 
I don't know what it is, but here's to end, here's the deal. Make a three to five minute video. Now we only covered a few secrets. And maybe it's just like two or three secrets or major ahas, ahas that you got from tonight. Post it in the internetlifestylefamily.com, which is the fan page. I think we got a hundred and some change said they were going to do it. And on Friday, we're going to, no, I'm stopping. I'm stop. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Post that three to five minute video. Let's do this. Let's do this. If you got, I'm going to say super value because I really didn't care about delivering value. I can deliver value any day. I, I really wanted to bring extra heat, extra magic tonight. If you got super value and are going to shoot that three minute video on AHA, let us know with a yes. Boom. Let's see. And this is kind of the big thing. And you know what? Hey, let's go for 50 people really quick. And it wouldn't be appropriate if we didn't end this webinar with the final countdown. <laughs> so let me see who's going to make that video. Just put a yes on that. I posted that thing. And then go to internetlifestylenetwork.com if you haven't to check out what we're all about because, you know, we get a lot of cool things going on. So let's, let's see what's going on. Oh, my God. Here we go. I love these guys. Oh my gosh. Tony, Anthony Grant, Richard Ramirez, Misty, Heather, Emily, Nathan, Naomi, Beck, Nicolo, Angelo, Cassie, Stefan, Candy, Jacob, John, Paula, Jenny, Burn, Sid, oh, Sid is in the house. Thank you. Hell yeah. Big tips all over the place. Cliff in like my post. Cliff in make a video. You're killing me. Luke, Michelle, Shelly, Keith. All right, it's you. Everybody, yeah. Thank you. Exactly. Uh, Wendy, just, okay. To everybody who invited people, who advertised for tonight, thank you for believing in me. Thank you for believing in whatever we're doing because it's an amazing thing. And uh, with that, look at that slow motion. It's perfect timing. This is how. <laughs> look at that. Oh, that's, oh, oh, oh. Good night, America. The organizer has ended the session and this call will be disconnected.